Hi guys, I'm just editing now and just adding a little bit extra in here. Uh, stick around to the end of the vlog. I have a couple questions. Sorry about the poor lighting, but I need to do my Lupron shot. It's gonna be backwards for you guys. Um, so this is my Lupron shot. It comes like this. So this is the Lupron Depot shot. So I know a lot of ladies do just uh, the regular Lupron shot, which is just the, a small uh, injection. This is the intramuscular one, and like I said, this is my strong um, down regulation medication. So this one's really interesting, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me while I try to figure this out. But it comes like this, so there's like can't really see it, but there's a, a powder in there, in this part. And then the liquids in this part. This is the needle, you flip the cap, and then you get a little plunger. So this is how you mix it. You don't draw the saline, then push it in the powder, and then draw it out from the little vials. It's just all in here, so. I haven't done this in a, uh, almost a year now, and I've actually always got a nurse to do it for me, but now that I'm like a pro with needles, I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself. And so, it comes with instructions. Should be fun. It does come with instructions with steps. So, step one to prepare the injection, screw the white plunger into the end stopper until the stopper begins to turn. So, screw this into this. until the stopper begins to turn. So there's a little gray stopper in there and it's turning. So that's what you want. And then remember to tighten the needle by twisting the needle cap clockwise. So twist the needle cap clockwise. Holding the syringe upright, release, release the diluent by slowly pushing the plunger until the first stopper is at the blue line in the middle of the barrel. So there's the blue line. So you push. So see this stopper moving. So you're pushing It until the first stopper, so up here, right here, hits the blue line, right about there. Keep the syringe upright, gently shake the syringe to thoroughly mix the powder to form a uniform suspension. It will appear milky. If the powder adhere to the stopper or caking clumping is present, tap the syringe against your finger to dispense. So I'm just kind of shaking this until it all mixes. It is mixing, it's just taking a while. taking forever, so bear with me. Okay, 
Okay, keep this syringe upright. I think it's mixed. Remove the needle cap without twisting and advance the plunger to expel, expel air. to YouTube this. Okay, so I YouTubed it and I guess this stays on. Probably shouldn't be floppy like that, but anyways. And then I pull that off and I'm left with my needles. So you just get all the air out. So I'm just gonna go until I see a little drop come out. a while. Oh, geez. Four drops came out. That's not great. Okay. Bring, oops. Bring you guys down so you can see. Yet another injection. So I've done these Probably four, 10 of these before, but I've never done them myself. I've always had a nurse do them because I've done them um, either at the very beginning of my IVF journey or before, way before my IVF journey. I did these for my endometriosis before. I'm sure it will feel just like my PIO shots. Okay, so that's done. Um, honestly, I look a mess, but anyways, honestly, that was um, no worse than my PIO shots. It might have even been a little bit better. Um, the only thing that was different was it was kind of hard to tell when I was at the end. Like, I was pushing and it was going slow, and then I wasn't sure if I was at the end or if I had stopped yet, but it didn't really hurt. Um, I don't know if the needle, no, I think it's the same size as the PIO. Must have just got a good spot. So anyways, that is my first Lupron injection. So I have four more of those to do, one every month. And so that's kind of what's gonna be going on for the next little bit. The only thing going on really for the next little bit. And so I will continue to do those every month. I'll have another one in October and one in December and I believe one in January. And uh, again, this is a uh, Lupron Depot shot and it is done to downregulate. So this is stronger than the nasal spray. This is supposed to just completely, completely shut down my system, um, which hopefully will completely shut down my endometriosis because when I did the Superfact, uh, the nasal spray for my down regulation, um, it did work, but I still had a lot of endometriosis symptoms. So she thought uh, we would do this. Lupron Depot shot is uh, best practice for endometriosis. So 
Um, I did do it for my first cycle, but I haven't done it for either one of my frozen transfers. So we thought we'd give this a go. Um, this medication, I mean, it's not gr it's not the worst, but it causes me to have a lot of trouble sleeping, and it um, is like a very harsh metapod, so I get like very, very, very bad hot flashes, especially at night. So that's what I have to look forward to. Um, but like I said, I've done it before. Um, the hot flashes are wicked bad and they're the worst at night, which is why I don't get any sleep. But it's only for four months, so hopefully I can uh, get through it. All right, guys. I am looking at doing over the next few months here, while I don't have a whole lot of IVF stuff, I am looking for a couple things. I am looking at doing a Q&A, so if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, feel free to do so. I'm going to put my Instagram handle, I don't know, one of these sides. I always get confused, but I'm going to put it below or also if you want to comment. And the other thing I'm looking to know is what do you guys want to see? I'm trying to think of some really good content to put out for you guys. So I'm looking at maybe doing a generalized what is IVF and kind of explaining the process for anyone that is new here. And the second thing, like I said, I'm looking to do is doing a Q&A. So the more questions, the better. So if you have any questions, feel free to um, DM me on Instagram. I just made this Instagram account last night and hopefully I can get some good content and have some answers for you guys any any questions you have at all anything whether it be TTC related or IVF related or stillbirth related or anything generally about me feel free to ask and also any ideas on what you guys would like to see in the next few months uh, feel free to send those along my way too all right bye guys